exciting NBA action coming up. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Allie LaForce. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Philadelphia 76ers. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And it's Longley in at the center position. Four on the clock. Here's Jordan. And the shot falls short that time. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Pass to Lynch. Hill with it. Here's Snow. Six on the shot clock. Matumbo. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. To the middle. Here's Rodman. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Making a statement here early. Going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. Here's Snow. Inside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Philadelphia shooting their initial free throws of the game here. The first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Rodman. Now Jordan. From 12 feet. Matumbo with a rebound. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Lynch passes to Snow. Here's Iverson. Just five to shoot. Rebound by the Bulls. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. With the step back. Pippen pass to Jordan. Nails it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Snow. Pass to Iverson. Over Jordan. And another miss by Philadelphia. The Bulls on offense. Pippen, pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Checked by Hill. Here's Pippen. Off the mark there with a three. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Lynch. It's blocked. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Jacks up a three. Drains the triple. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's Iverson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Philadelphia shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And 
so he makes both from the line. Bulls leading by four. Pass to Jordan. The ball's knocked loose. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Iverson passes to Snow. They set a pick. Puts it up from 17. And it falls all over the rim and in. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Jordan. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Chicago shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. No good on the free throw. That's off as well, so he misses both. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Lynch. That misses. Had a chance to tie it. Over to the wing. From deep, Jordan. And again, no good by Chicago. Jordan's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Here's Snow. Pass to Iverson. Shot clock at six. Can't tie it up. That one misses. Here's Pippen. There's a screen. To the paint. Here's Longley. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Pass to Snow. To the inside. Latumbo. Shot blocked. Jordan up top. Nice move. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Latumbo has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Lynch. Out to the wing. Here's Snow. Pass to Iverson. Here's Matumbo, covered by Jordan. Clock at four. This one for three. Iverson can't hit. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Down low. Here's Longley. Comes up empty down low. The defense really made this an uphill battle, and he just couldn't get there. Here's Snow. Over to the left wing. Releases. Shot's good by Iverson. Here's Pippen. We got a piece of it. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. He's perfect from the line this time. And Philadelphia calls time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something out that can get them a clean look at the basket. Set 
76ers trail by four. Here's Snow. Here's McKee. And that one off the back of the rim and in. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. You know. Pass to Winnington. Here's Kerr. Here's Wennington. To the left side wing. Five to shoot. Here's Harper. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. That may be not the highest percentage of looks right there, but look, you can't argue with results, I guess. Here's McKee. To the middle. Here's Matumbo. Longley with a rebound. Longley's got rebound number seven tonight. Bulls leading by four. Harper passes to Kerr. Here's Harper. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. Chicago shooting their fifth and sixth free throw attempts tonight. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter here. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Chicago leading by six. Here's Harper. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. Inside. Here's Simpkins, and he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. Here's McKee. It's stolen. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Simpkins passes to Kerr. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. To the wing on the left. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's McKee. Clock at six. The 17-footer. And the shot is good off the backboard. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. And so it's the That's Chicago the Bulls with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Here's Holly. On the court for the Bulls. And it's Kerr in at the shooting guard position. Pass to Geiger. Here's McLeod. 
The fader. A rebound by Kukoc. Brown with it. Here's Kukoc. Here's Bushler. Sinks it from distance. And the Bulls lead by nine. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Pass to McKee. He hits the back iron and sinks it. McKee's got six. And Brown has got the ball here for Chicago. Here's Bushler. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Brown passes to Bushler. Here's Kukoc, defended by Jones. Four on the clock. And here's Brown for three. Rebound by Philadelphia. Pass to Wally. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. McKee, the pass to Geiger. Goes back up. And the layup is up and in. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Kerr. Now Brown. Here's Kukoc. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. I just love when teams make it work down low. 76ers trail by seven. Here's McKee. Six points for him. And the 17-footer goes down. Give him eight points now. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Kerr. Back to Brown. Here's Bushler. Brown, no good. Just enough resistance to force the mess. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. McLeod can't hit. Chicago leading by five. Here's Bushler. And here's Brown. Here's Kukoc. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Kukoc has got four points now in the quarter. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Here's McKee. Give him eight. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Brown passes to Bushler. Here's Kukoc. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Here's Holly. He's scoreless. McLeod passes to McKee. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul. Man, yeah, good whistle there. Philadelphia shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he makes a first. He makes one or two that time. Chicago leading by six. Here's Jordan. Hits it. Now two of six from the field. Coaches love those hit-ahead passes, advancing the ball as quickly as possible. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Here's McKee. He's got 11. Pass to Iverson. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. Iverson's got six. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. And he lobs it up to the rim. Pass to McKee. To the left wing. Fires from the corner. Offensive rebound. Here's Hill. Lays it up and banks it in. Hill's got his first two points. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Here's Kerr. Pass to Jordan. Here's Kerr. Here's Pippen. Matumbo with a rebound. Matumbo has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Lynch. It's deflected. Now here's Jordan. He's guarded closely. Here's Kerr. And McKee pulls it down. 76ers trail by four. Pass to Lynch. The jump hook. Longley with a rebound. Longley's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. Here's Pippen. Checked by Hill. From downtown. Pippen, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Lynch passes to Matumbo. Tries again. At last, they get one to fall. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And here's Jordan. He's got five. Here's Pippen. To stop the drought. And that's two points on the layup. Pippen's got seven. He's good enough where it takes a lot to bother him after him like that. There's a minute 54 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Iverson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. Yeah, they've also started out on fire from mid-range. We'll see if they continue to that approach as the game goes on. That one's off. Harper, he's checked in for Chicago. Hits the second from the line. Chicago leading by three. Pass to Rodman. Jordan inside. Five points in the game. Using his post moves to get the two points. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Here's Snow. And there's the drive. Pass to Hill. Five on the clock. Here's Iverson. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Here's Rodman. Checked by Hill. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Chicago shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. down the first one that 
one misses. 76ers trail by six. Lynch passes to Hill. And that one drops for him. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. First personal foul, third team foul. Here's Harper. 52 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rodman. Checked by Hill. Here's Jordan. Iverson with a rebound. Jordan's gone three of eight tonight from the field. Looking to end this cold spell. Iverson can't hit. Bulls leading by three. 24 seconds left in the half. Here's Pippen. He's got seven. Count it. Pippen's got nine. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Here's Iverson. He takes it in. Some solid defense from Jordan. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Bulls out in front, up five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. So it's Philadelphia now. It's a five-point game. And it's Matumbo in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Pass to Snow. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Longley's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Pippen. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Hill. Pippen's gone just one for four from deep. Here's Snow. To the inside. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Here's Harper. Pass to Rodman. Jordan with it. The jump hook. Matumbo with a rebound. Matumbo has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's Iverson. He has six. Snow gets the bucket. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Chicago leading. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Here's Jordan. Rebound by Philadelphia. Here's Lynch. Yet to see a basket. They set the pick. Pass to Snow. Shot clock at five. For the lead. And the 76ers tack on two more. Snow's got three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75% to the paint. And slam dunk by Jordan. A beautiful setup on the alley oop. Great catch, great flush. Now the 76ers with it. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. And Philadelphia calls time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. 
That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Here's Snow. He's got six. They grab their own miss. And the basket by Matumbo. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Pass to Pippen. Here's Longley. Now here's Jordan. He's got nine. Six to shoot. Longley passes to Rodman. Puts up a three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Matumbo has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. On the take. To the right side. Pass to Snow. Here's Iverson. Rodman with a rebound. Chicago trailing here. To the middle. Here's Jordan. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Hill. And out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. And so here is Chicago. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Harper passes to Jordan. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Takes the three. Matumbo with the rebound. Matumbo has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Snow. He's got six. Here's Iverson. Philadelphia with another miss. There are nights where the shots just don't fall. Unfortunately, I know how that feels. Harper passes to Pippen. Pass to Jordan. Iverson with a rebound. The Sixers trailing. Looking to get it going. It's tipped. Here's Harper. Back to Jordan. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Jordan's got 13 now. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. To win the drought. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. I like how they've been attacking the lane. It's been beautiful. All game long, they've been successful penetrating and getting offensive production. One other thing they've done very well has been scoring inside, just pounding and grinding down there. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here are the Bulls now. They lead by one. Now here's Jordan. Defense right on him. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Here's Iverson. He's got six. Pass to McKee. The shot from 20 feet out. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. 
McKee's gone six of seven, making it look easy here. Now Jordan. From 15 feet away, called in by Hill. Hill's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Iverson. Knocks down the long J. He's got nine. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Here's Kukoc. Six points for him. This is the jumper from the wing. Here's Snow. They set the screen. Pass to McKee. Down to five on the shot clock. Play clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. No good on that one. The Bulls making a switch here. So he can't get either to fall. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Wennington. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he drops the first. So it's both teams making substitutions here. on the second so he makes them both and the big fellow with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line now Claxton here's McKee he gets it he's seven for eight and really going at him out there credit the plays they're calling for him getting him right now some good shots pass to Kukoc here's Kerr Here's Simpkins, defended by Jones. Who poked away, stolen by Jones. And they're on the break. Here's McKee. LaRue grabs the board. Chicago with the ball, trailing by two. Here's Kukoc, and the bucket is good. Kukoc has got eight points. 56 seconds left in the third. Here's McKee, he's got 15. Here's Claxton. Here's Geiger. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Geiger's gone two of four so far tonight. Pass to LaRue. 29 seconds left in the third quarter here. Simpkins passes to Kerr. Clock at six. Here's Simpkins. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Who coach? And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Who coach has got four points in the quarter. Claxton with it. No points yet. Jones sets a screen. From the high post. He can't get that one to fall. And we wrap up the third, and it looks like it's going to be an exciting fourth. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. 
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for Chicago. And it's Winnington and at the four slot. Kukoc, the pass to Kerr. Here's Winnington. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Shooting two. Falls that puts him up one point in the game now. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Sanchez. Pass to McKee. Shoots. Rebound by the Bulls. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Bushler. Here's Kukoc. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by Buford. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Pass to Geiger. Here's McKee. Here's Buford. Here's Sanchez. Misses the three. Used the pump fake well, but he couldn't capitalize. Simpkins passes to Kukoc. Here's Bushler. Here's Simpkins. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's McKee. Gets an open look and hits it. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Chicago leading. Harper passes to Simpkins. Here's Kukoc. Defended by Jones. 19-footer. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Here's McKee. Pass to Snow. Down low. Here's Geiger. Here's Matumbo. Here's Geiger. Another shot. Got it. Good job in the low post. Tremendous vision. Passing out of the shot. That's great decision making. And so here is Chicago. Two-point game. Here's Simpkins. Pass to Harper. Here's Kukoc. Defended by Jones. Shot clock at six. Pass break, Philadelphia. And he hits it to tie the game. Jones has got his first points of the game. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. 
Here's Kerr. Simpkins passes to Harper. Here's Kukoc. Buries it from three. And the Bulls lead by three. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to McKee. Inside. Here's Kerr. Here's Kukoc. Defended by Jones. Kukoc, no good. Here's McKee. To the inside. Here's Matumbo. Rebound by the Bulls. Kukoc has got four rebounds now. Here's Kerr. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Longley. And he goes in for the dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And that one misses. 76ers trail by five. Pass to Hill. Here's Lynch. Here's Snow. Let's it fly. The Sixers again can't hit. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Here's Harper. Checked by Hill. Here's Jordan. Got a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. Chicago ball. Just four to shoot. Longley passes to Jordan. Three-pointer. Offensive board. Robin. And that one is hammered home. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Shots good by Iverson. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Longley. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Here's Iverson. Into the lane. Stripped away. Jordan high post. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And now it's a nine-point Chicago lead. It's fun for us to sit back and watch him go to work. But that's our job, not the defenses. They left him too open on that play. The 76ers call timeout. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys. During that last break, I heard Philadelphia's coach as he addressed his team. They took a laid-back approach to the huddle, telling the team, everyone thinks this game is over, so just go out there and let it rip. Let's see what we can do. And I think the players love that message. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Snow, pass to Iverson. Left side, Hill. Pass to Iverson. Over Jordan. Second chance shot. And it's laid up and in by Hill. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Here's Harper. Here's Longley. Here's Harper. Just five on the clock. And he lobs it up. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. 76ers trail by nine. 
Here's Iverson. Hook loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Hill the pass to Snow. Clock at six. Knocked loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Right wing. Here's Rodman. And here's Jordan. Here's Harper. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Jordan. Launches a three. Pure from three-point range. And now it's a 12-point Chicago lead. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to them at all times. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digit. Iverson can't hit. And so here is Chicago. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Pass to Rodman. Here's Jordan. Soft touch off the glass. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. The Sixers with another miss. Here's Harper. Now here's Jordan. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Rebound by Philadelphia. Here's Iverson. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Here's Harper. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Richard Jefferson, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now our player of the game.